Hello, my name is An Mohadevan, and my partner for this project is Xiaoyu Tu, or as he likes to be called, Kevin. And we are doing the Chinese postman problem together for our project. So, first things first, let's lay the groundwork for a definition for this problem. The Chinese postman problem is to find a shortest closed path or circuit that visits every edge of a connected, undirected graph at least once. When the graph has an Eulerian circuit, a closed walk that covers every edge once, that circuit is an optimal solution. Otherwise, the optimization problem is to find the smallest number of graph edges to duplicate, or in the case of the graph having weights with its corresponding edges, the subset of edges with the minimum possible total weight so that the resulting graph does have an Eulerian circuit. And we'll get more into that in future slides. But as an example, the graph shown here, K3, has a short, shortest path of A, B, C, back to A, which is an Eulerian circuit and essentially solves our postman problem, which is when the postmaster has to start from the post office, hit every street or edge uh, in their neighborhood and come back in the shortest possible time. So let's get into the algorithm for our solution. Step one of our solution is to first add up the weights, if there are weights, of the arcs or edges and state the total weight of the whole network. The next step is to write down the orders of each node identifying the odd of nodes. So for example, if we go back to K3 here, every node in K3 has even order, making each vertex an even vertex. So none of those would be considered odd nodes because there's an Eulerian circuit already present. So step three, once we've identified the odd nodes, the nodes are vertices that have an odd number of edges coming out of it, we can then pair up each node of odd order, meaning to create a path between them, making the path as small as possible, meaning the minimum weight. So when I have multiple nodes with odd order, I can pair them together and make the smallest path possible between each pair of odd order vertices. And step four is to pair up all the odd nodes so that the sum of the weights of the paths that we created in step three is minimized. So we'll get into that in future examples to make it more clear. Step five, once we've found the minimum sum of the weights of the paths, we can duplicate the paths identified in step four onto the original network. The weights of the network is now the weight of all arcs in step one, which we found here. Just simply adding up all the weights of our network and adding the additional weight of the additional arcs found in step four. So now we know the minimum weight required to travel through our graph or network. And our final step is to identify a path through this new Eulerian graph where we have essentially added extra edges to the odd vertices to make them even. So last step, just find a path through this new one where we're going to repeat certain edges in our graph to get our final results. So first steps first, let's go over the quote unquote easier example in which we have no odd vertices present. So as you can see from this graph, a has degree 4, D has degree 2, B2, C4, E has degree 4, F has degree 2, and finally G has degree 2. 
So first things first, we can immediately see that all the vertices in our graph are even, hence making steps two to five unnecessary for our solution. Sorry for this typo. So since we know steps two to five are, are necessary because we have no odd nodes, all we have to do is step one, add all the weight of the edges and add the total weight of the network. So since the minimum weight is just simply just adding everything together, we can get seven plus three, 10, plus 10, 20, plus six, 26, plus eight, 34, plus four, 38, plus five, 43, plus six, 49, and finally plus one, that's 50. So we know the minimum sum of the weights uh, to travel traverse this graph is 50. And through, sorry for mispronouncing this, higher Holzer's algorithm, an Eulerian circuit starting from B can be found as such. Start from B, go to A, then to D, then E, back to A, go to C, E, F, G, Z, B. And of course in the higher Holzer's algorithm you can make smaller Eulerian circuits and run through the algorithm that way, but just for brevity's sake, this is just a complete Eulerian circuit. So let's go into a little bit of a harder example, uh, the odd vertices example. So if you'll notice the edges that I have removed are AE and I believe I have removed CG as well. So those are gone. So let's go through the steps. So step one states that we must add up the weights of the arcs and state the total weight of a network. So the total weight, adding all these numbers together is 48. Next, step two, write down the orders of each node, identifying the odd nodes. So let's just identify the odd nodes. Those are going to be A, C, E, and G, because A has degree three, C has degree three, E has degree three, and G has degree one. So let's go on to step three. It says to pair up each node of odd order. So we have four of them, making the path as small as possible. So for example, AC, smallest path is simply just going to six because any other path would be greater than six. For example, ABC would have a weight of 12. EG, the only way to get to G from E is adding up six and eight, going EF and then to G. So let's go to step four, pair up all the odd nodes so the sum of the weights of the paths is minimized. So in order to do that, we can compare every single combination of pairs of paths together. So for example, we can go through all the different paths for A. So A has to connect to C, has to connect to E, and has to connect to G. So we have AC and the remaining two EG. So we have six plus 14, as I said before, that's 20. Let's do the same thing for AE. We start from A, we go down to C, which is six plus three, that's nine. And then we'll have CG, so that's three plus six plus eight, and that will be 17. And that's added together, we get 26. Then we go to AG. AG, to get there, we should get nine first, ACE, and then add 14. So that's nine plus 14, 23. CE, that'll have only a weight of three, which is 26. So as we can see, 20 is our minimum weight for this step four, for the sums of the weights of the paths. So lastly, for step five, all we have to do is simply add the two edges that we've found to be the smallest combined weight. So that's AC and EG. We'll add their corresponding weights as well. 
And finally, uh, in step five, it tells us to add the weights together. So all we have to do, our step one weight was 48, and our step, sorry, our step one weight was 48, and our step four weight is 20. So that's simply 48 plus 20, that's 68. And then very finally, we have our Eulerian circuit to identify, and that's, we can find that out pretty quick, A, D, E, F, G, E, C, B, A, C, A. Hi, alright, so now we have our second example with another odd vertices example. Um, on this specific graph, we can see that we have um, four total odd nodes with node B having a degree of 5, node D having a degree of 3, node J and node F both having a degree of 3 as well. So with the Chinese Postman algorithm, we would first, in order to take the total weight, we would sum up all the weights on the edges. In this case, we would get a total of 89. And with the odd nodes that we can see, B, D, J, and F, we would do pairing combinations to try and see which smallest combination we can create. So with node B, you could possibly pair, pair it with node D. And if that's the case, then node J would have to be paired with node F, making that a um, shortest path from B to D being eight, and shortest path from J to F being four, which adds up to be a sum of 12. And in the same style, we can pair B, node B with node J, um, finding the shortest path of that would give us a weight of 11. And if that is the case, then node B would be paired with node F. And finding the shortest path of DF would give us a total sum weight of 13, making that a total of 24. Lastly, node B can be paired with node F. And that would give us a total of, again, 11. And if that is the case, then node D would be paired with node J, um, adding, finding the shortest path of DJ would give us 17, and summing 11 plus 17 is, would be 28. Therefore, since B, J, D, F, the combination of the pair gives us the smallest weight path of 12, we can add them to our graphs with their associated weights. And so from the weight of the network in total, um, due to the fact that we just added more edges, um, additional edges from the shortest odd pairings, we would add the total weight with the paired weight, which gives us a total sum of 101. Finally, we can identify a Eulerian circuit. Sorry, finally we can identify an Eulerian circuit that begins and ends with A. Um, in that case, we would be traversing from A to D, from D to E, from E to F, F to I, I to J, J to F and back down to J. Um, J to H, H up to G, up to E and down to B. And from B, we can take the B to D and back to B route. Going from B, we can just go from H to C, back to B, and finally reaching our end node A. So the main problem with the postman, the Chinese postman algorithm would be um, having too many odd nodes. Um, this could be a problem because um, it 
seems like a exponential growth on the amount of the number of ways to pair. So you can see that if we have two nodes, then there's only one way of pairing. However, if we have four odd nodes, then as from our example, we can see that there are three ways of pairing. From six nodes, it grows to 15 ways of pairing. Eight becomes 105. 10 nodes becomes 945 ways of pairing. And finally, up to 14 or even more, there's just a lot of ways of pairing that slows down this algorithm drastically. Finally, the Chinese postman problem is a route inspection problem that finds the shortest closed path or circuit that visits every edge of a connected, undirected graph at least once. When a graph has only even vertices, the optimal solution is simply the Eulerian circuit formed. When there are odd vertices present, extra path must be produced through the pairing of odd vertices in order for the resulting graph to have an Eulerian circuit. The algorithm is not efficient with too many odd vertices as I have explained before. Due to the large number amount of comparisons needed for minimum path weight combinations. And finally here are here's our references and that is it. Thank you.